Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. The focus in this video is to create the authenticator component so we can reset, create, and log in with an account. The authenticator component will be a pop up window at the bottom of the web page. When the get started or the login button is clicked on, it will slide up. When we click outside of the component, it will slide down and hide itself. The Angular Material UI components that I'm using for this are the button, bottom sheet, and card. Go into the app module file and add the material bottom sheet and the material card modules to your project. Add the import statements and add it to the app. Lastly, save the project and have the project open in the browser from where we left off in the previous video. To begin, create a new component called Authenticator using the ng-generate-component command and place it in the tools directory. Go into the home component HTML page and add a click event to the get started button. We want to use this button to trigger the bottom sheet. Go into the home component TypeScript file and define a click event for the get started button. Import the math bottom sheet class from Angular Material and inject it into the constructor. With the bottom sheet object, we can trigger and open the bottom sheet. Go into the get started click event function, grab the bottom sheet object and call the open method. Lastly, pass in the authenticator component. When we go to the app on the browser and click on the Get Started button, the bottom sheet will show. Do the same for the nav bar. Go into the app component HTML page and add a click event for the login navigation item. Then go into the app component TypeScript file and define the function. Import and inject mat bottom sheet again and call the open method in the click event function. If we go to our app again on the browser and click on the login button, the bottom sheet will also show. The next step is to define the contents inside the bottom sheet. Go to the authenticator component HTML page and remove the default code. 
add a div element and give it an ID called Authenticator. Inside the Authenticator div, add a card component. Use the math card element to create the card container and give it an ID called Authenticator Content. There are three sections to the card component, the header, the content area, and the action bar. To add the header, use the math card header element. And inside it, use the math card title element to define the title. For the content, add a div element underneath the header element. Then put two inputs and a button inside. For the button style, apply the matte flat button property and set the color to warm. For the password input, set the type to password. For the action bar, use the matte card actions element and set the align attribute to end. This will align all the contents inside the bar to the right. Lastly, place three buttons inside the action bar. One for forgot password, one for create an account, and one for login. And then use the matte flat button style for all three buttons. If we turn to our app, we should have a card component inside the bottom sheet with our contents. Go to the Authenticator component CSS file and add the selectors for the Authenticator and the Authenticator content. For Authenticator, use Display Flex. Justify Content Center and Align Item Center. Then set the padding to 1M on all sides and the box sizing to border box so it will calculate the paddings. For Authenticator Content, set the width to 100%, Max Width to 30M, and Padding to 1.5M. Lastly, add the styles for the inputs and buttons. For the buttons, set the margin to 0.5M on all sides. For the inputs, set the width to 100%, padding to 1M, margin to 0.5M and 0, border radius to 5 pixels, outline to none, Change the style of the border and set the box sizing to border box so it'll calculate the paddings.
Let's see how the authenticator looks right now. As you can see, our styles are complete. We just need to add the functionality to the buttons and change the content based on which one is clicked on. Go to the Authenticator Component HTML page. Since we have the contents for login, we just need to add the contents for creating an account and resetting the password. Add two more div elements inside the card component. For the first div, add three inputs and a button. This will be the content for registering for an account. For the second div, add one input and a button. This will be the content for resetting the password. Do not forget to set the type of the password inputs to password. If we go to our app, all three contents will be stacked on top of each other, which is what we want for now. Go back to the Authenticator Component HTML page and add a click event to each button in the action bar. Then define the functions in the TypeScript file. Scroll to the bottom of the component and define an enum called authenticator comp state. This enum will have three values, login, register, and forgot password. Inside the authenticator component, declare a variable for the enum and set it to login. Go to the on forgot password state click function and set the state to forgot password. For on create account state click, set it to register. And for on login state click, set it to login. With this, we can toggle which content we want to display using the ng-if directive. Define three more functions. One call is login state. One call is register state. And one call for got password state.
Go to the Authenticator HTML page and use the ngif directive to display each content. For the login content, check if it's login state. For the register content, check if it's registered state. And for the reset password content, check if it is forgot password state. If we go to the app, we should be able to toggle between the three contents. There's one more thing that we're missing. The header is staying the same. Go to the Authenticator Component TypeScript file and use the same concept to get the text of each state. Define a function called getStateText. Inside the function, use a switch case to determine which text you want to display. Go back to the Authenticator Component HTML page and use interpolation to get the text. This will change the text depending on the content that is displayed. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like share and subscribe to support the channel. In the next video, we'll add the functionality to the different states using the Firebase TS library. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.